just wanted to show how our battery voltage bounces back. This battery is powering an inverter and I'll show you how much current it's using shortly. Standard voltage was about 12.5 before I turned it on. But anyway, I'll turn it on now. You see it start to draw. Drop the voltage. Put it on to current measurement. Two point three amps, two point two amps, current draw. Put it back on to measure the voltage of the battery. Two twenty eight, two point twelve point two seven two eight. And what it should do soon. When the chemical action of the battery catches up with the drain on it, it'll actually reverse the voltage and start raising the voltage of the battery while it's delivering 2.2 amps. Sometimes it takes a little while to happen. can't sit here and watch it the whole time so I'm just going to have to stop the video in a second and start it again when it starts to reverse. 12.27 There's the battery, there's the inverter that it's powering. The light's over there. Okay, there it goes, it's starting to reverse the voltage of the battery now. And what happens, what can happen is, depending on the state of the charge of the battery, the voltage of the battery before you start, the load you put on the battery, and, and if you was to stop it right now, as the chemical action is exceeding the current draw, if you were to stop the current draw now, then there is a chance that the battery could regain to a voltage higher than what it started. Believe it or not. If you do enough tests, you can actually see that happen. Also, depending on the load, state of charge of the battery, the condition of the battery, depends the amount of the effect you can get. Some batteries will start out with a voltage of 12.6 or so. If you can apply a load, they'll drop down to 12.2 and then they'll bounce back up to 12.45 or so. Something like that. And so depending on the battery and the load and a few other factors, the amount that it will bounce back changes. This one won't bounce back far because it was already had a fair bit of charge taken out of the battery. 12.4 volts is a lot of charge missing from the battery. But you can see there that the chemical action is attempting to compensate for the drain on the battery and it's trying to regain its battery voltage. Spending more time now at 12.28 than what than it is at 12.27. And as I said, I've seen this game a whole two points, two tenths of a volt while on the load.
I'm turning the inverter off. Immediately you see the voltage bounce back quickly. It's quite dark. Dog gets nervous when I talk to the camera. So as you can see the lead acid battery, I'm using lead acid batteries, the effects they produce when you're using them can be very deceiving. And unless you're actually familiar with your batteries, it's a big call to say that you're getting free energy. Real big call. Five point five five. Five point five five, and it's still connected to the inverter. So there's still leakage in the capacitor in the inverter. <coughs> Not very much, of course. Twelve point five five volts to bounce back to. And it was after delivering 2.2 amps for a few minutes. 